Hi guys, this is Rob with Deluxe Gaming, and this is Reassembly. Released on Steam as early access about a day ago for the lofty price of $32.99 Canadian. I presume that's about $30 if you are on the US side of Steam. I decided to purchase this on the advice of one of my viewers. A big ol' shout out to you Rick, and thank you. Yeah, I sat down to try this yesterday after work and realized about two hours after I should have been in bed that this game is going to be a serious problem for me. It's crazy addictive and fun. So normally I will do a first look video on a game and kind of test the waters to see if anyone would be interested in the title before doing an entire Let's Play series. However, with reassembly I know I have at least one vote already and on top of that after spending even just one evening with it, I I simply must play it and show it off, and my bloodshot eyes are proof of its worth. So, that being said, this will actually be part one of a gameplay series on reassembly, and what makes this a little different for me is that I haven't spent that much time with it yet, and we are probably going to be learning a great deal about this as we go along. At this point in time, I only know enough to be dangerous. But before I get started, I want to point out one thing. There are quite a few videos about this game on YouTube. One of the things I noticed actually in the options, so you may notice that my may, my version here may look a little bit different, just because um, I've changed this one setting so that the background graphics, you can actually set it so it's stars and halos. Now it does add some interesting effects. It kind of gives a little shading around each one of the ships. And when you're looking at the larger map, it makes it so that um, it's a little easier to see where the action is happening and where the ships are, but uh, when you're recording, it kind of adds a funny hue to the screen, and I, I don't find it pleasing. So you'll, this is this is one thing you'll notice. It's very different from mine, generally speaking, in my videos, because I, I'm going to keep that off, and I just think it's a, a lot cleaner to look at it like this. So another thing you'll notice here is that uh, so yes, this is this is a space shooter game, not unlike other games I've done on my channel. Um, but there, it's a very, it's, it's almost a vector graphics type game and it's just blocks of different colors that are put together and you build ships, but there's really no texture in the game, but it doesn't need it. And y you may look at it right now and go, oh, that doesn't look very good, but it, it actually looks great once we get in. So anyway, we're, we're going to get going right away. So this game was developed by a uh, company called Anna Sopra and a... And a and a and a and a Sopra? I, I I don't know how to pronounce it. And uh, they were Kickstarter launched. Okay, before I get into that, let's uh, let's talk about our starter ship. So this we're starting a brand new game. Um, I'm gonna call this Deluxe Gaming. Uh, no. Yeah, well, nah, just Deluxe is fine. Um, yeah, Deluxe. Okay, sorry. I'm waffling. I can't even decide on a name. How are we gonna pick a color here? So every faction within the game are identified by their colors. Everything is their color. Now, so there's some preset factions that will always be certain colors. So there's always the blue and the pink and the, the green and the white. And then there's a red and a, and a white. And um, so they're kind of standard. They're pretty typical in most of the games that you play. And then I think there's some random factions that appear. I could be wrong on that. Like I said, I'm still pretty new to this. Um, and then you pick your faction. So you can pick your primary color or sorry, your your... I guess the color that's going to be sort of your the color of the parts your primary parts so like this is this is power this is uh the core you can't really tell that when we get in here you'll get to see a little better and then your guns so this you're picking the color of all these these primary parts right so it can be you know pretty much anything i'm a big fan of green so i think we'll go kind of a I like a darker kind of military style green yeah or forest green uh, I'm not very good at doing colors. As you guys know, if you've watched my previous videos, I'm terrible at doing colors. But we're going to do our best here to get a good starting color. You can change it in the game if you need to, um, if you're not happy with it. Every single one of your ships and every single one of your faction members are going to be this color. So yes, you do, it's not just you and one little ship. This is not Spaz. This is not Star Control. This is you. you you're not controlling your entire faction, but you are, are sort of a core piece of it. Um, but everything will share your colors, and that's how you, you identify with uh, 
identify what's yours. So now we can do a our secondary color, which is our hull pieces. Our hull pieces are a different piece. So hull pieces are basically triangles and blocks, just geometric shapes that you can add to your ship to add armor and and structure. Uh, so uh, yeah, a green green blue would be kind of nice. I don't know. That's that's kind of sexy. Yes, I just use word sexy. <laughs> um, but if we do that, we need kind of a brighter green. Yeah, yeah, that looks that looks sharp, right? The green blue. Okay, and we are going to launch. So this game was launched on Kickstarter, I don't know, I think it was like six months ago, a year ago. Um, and uh, I don't know how much money they raised. I, I will have to uh, check that out. So it is controlled by the keyboard and the mouse, unlike Boss Constructor. Uh, similarly, colored ships are your friends. Everyone else is your enemy. So again, like all of these games, there's no diplomacy. Absolutely no dip diplomacy. Diplomacy is for chumps. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, minimap on the bottom left. We can't expand it. So there is a whole universe. And within this universe, there is multiple different factions all identified by their color. And then in the center universe is the most dangerous of crap you'll ever see. And then there is uh, wormholes throughout the the universe that allows you to travel to different areas and yeah it's stupidly large like so much like this is a massive 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 world um a mouse will to zoom in and out uh, pretty straightforward yeah and then so moving the mouse mouse controls my direction i can zoom right in to look right at my ship so mouse controls my direction there are different control options here but i'm going to show you the primary one the standard one that you start with so mouse controls my direction if I push the W key, I move forward. I can move side to side with the A and D key, and of course, reverse with the S key. Now you will notice, when I move, when I move forward, my rear firing thrusters fire. When I move to the side, one of my side thrusters, or my side thrusters launch. So those little, those little, ah, uh, uh, shoot, um, the little shapes, uh, I know it's not a Rohit, no, I don't know what kind of shape they are. Um, actually, if I go one, let's go into our editor here. So here we go. Yeah, this is an easier way to drag blocks from the palette on the right. I know. Don't worry about that. P, your P quotient. Yeah, we'll talk about all of that in a second. I don't want to confuse everybody with it. I'm going to start with the basics. So what is everything here? So each one of these pieces is part of your ship. So this is a hull piece. It's just armor. So and there's different types of hull or armor you can attach to your ship and they just add structure to your ship, right? So in other words, if I have a hull piece in front of a gun piece, they have to shoot through the hull piece to get to the gun piece, but the gun piece can shoot past the hull piece. Make sense? I hope so, it might not, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and each one of these pieces has a certain amount of health and mass. As you can see, this has health of 250 and mass of 10. Right, and um, I can, in uh, how do I, uh, phooey, I don't remember how to make those pieces larger and smaller. I think it's the plus, minus, nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, controls. I'll be going back to the controls all the time here. So when we're in the editor, uh, scale up, scale down. So the comma and period. So let's go back here. So the comma will make it bigger and the period key will make it smaller. So you can actually increase. So you can pretty much build any shape you can possibly imagine with the combination of the triangles, the squares, the rectangles, and the Whatever this shape is, this shape here, it's the same shape as the thrusters. So the thrusters, there are different sizes of thrusters, all with different stats, starting out, right? Um, yeah, there is research, of course, in this game, and uh, just like all of these games, and you can get big and ugly and awesome. And of course, you're going to fight big, ugly, and awesome, and it's great, and it's chaotic, and it's fun. Uh, sorry, I'm really excited. Okay, so the thrusters have that same shape. So you'll notice that the thrusters are facing in all different directions. So there's some sh facing backwards, there's some facing to the side. Now you need that because in space, in real space, where it's nearly a frictionless environment, when you push forward, as soon as you stop pushing forward, you still keep moving, right? And in order to stop, you actually have to have a thruster that will help you stop moving in that direction. So hence you have thrusters in all directions. And so when I move forward and I want to turn this way, I actually have thrusters that are actually turning me in different directions and when I want to stop which is the X key all my thrusters fire in whatever direction they need to fire in order to make it so that I lose momentum it's pretty freaking awesome the physics model is fantastic 
Okay, so let's talk about the second piece. We are gonna be doing the tutorial and stuff. So uh, actually, let's go to the, uh, go back here. So there are different types of points within the game. Okay, so let's talk about the points. So there's three types of resources. Now it looks confusing, but it's, it's not. So there is the raw matter resource. So the raw matter resource is basically your ore, right? Um, when you destroy a ship, it will we'll say or will say building material, right? When you destroy an enemy ship, a certain amount of building material pops out of that ship and you can suck it up and it's it's stored in your cargo hold, hold like an ore would be. And then you can use that to uh, trade or you can use it to build your own ships if you have a factory piece on your ship. Anyway. Um, so that's your raw matter resource. Now you can you can trade that to a friendly station within your faction to get social credit resource. So you're you're socializing. Think of it like you're trading and socializing. You trade your raw resource that you get from destroying enemy ships or mining or harvesting from plants. Sorry, I forgot to mention that part. You can mine you. You, there's these plants, this, this stuff that grows all over the place, and once it reaches a certain size, it actually produces some of this ore or resource. It's kind of like, uh, well, think of it like nanomaterial that can be kind of molded into anything, kind of like a replicator, right? So you can also trade that to your friendly stations to get social credit points. These social credit points can be used to do a couple of things. First off, it can be used to research new parts for your ships. In other words, right now I have 120 social credit points. Um, I can't right now, oh, I could buy the ability to place mining lasers on my ships. Right now, I can only build what's here. So I can build hull pieces, auto cannons, missile launchers, and we'll ju I'll just show you that again. So this is my build screen. This is all I can build right now on my ship. And I've got a few of these on here. I've got an auto cannon. I've got a plasma cannon. I've got a missile launcher. Uh, that's my command module. We'll talk about the command module later. Uh, power generator, etc. And lots of thrusters, three different types of thrusters, a container that holds the resources, stuff like that. But if I want to expand my ship and my abilities, I can spend the social credits to unlock different items that I can place on my ship. So in other words, if I want to have mining lasers, I can spend 30 of these social credits to unlock it. Now, if I want, I can go, whoops, <laughs> uh, I can go back here and take this mining laser and carefully try and figure out where I would put these on my ship in order to use them effectively. So I'm not going to do that right now. And, uh, could, but I'm going to talk about what the limitations are of this in a second. Okay, so social credits can also be used to enhance your ship's points or power. So ship points or power, which is the third resource. So every ship has so many points. Whoops, let's go back to the uh, build screen. So every ship has so many points you can use to upgrade it. So in other words, my ship right now has a total of 300 points I could use, and I'm currently using 240. These are kind of like command points associated with other games, or uh, I, I don't know what to compare it to. So let's just say my ship right now has the ability to have 300 points. Each one of these parts uses so many points. So in other words, when I put an auto cannon on this ship, it's going to use up 14 points. Is that right? I think it was... Hold on, let's take it off. Oh, sorry, way more than that. So the auto cannon, it should actually even say on here... Uh, 34 points right down at the bottom there. Uh, so when I put it onto the ship, it goes from 240 to 274. So if I wanted to put two auto cannons extra on here, I couldn't do it because I'm actually using more points than this ship, this little ship is capable of. Well, that sucks. What if I want to have a big ship? Ah, so that's where I leave here, go to my upgrade screen again. That's where you can use your, uh, social credit points to buy more ship points. So for 150 social credit points up here in the corner, I can get 30 more ship points, therefore allowing me to add more stuff to my ship and eventually build massive capital ships with, with fighters and big massive lasers and harvesters and factories to have 
keep building my own new ships and, and massive thrusters, all of these things, right? So all of these work in tandem. You need resources to, resources do two things. Resources you can sell to a factory to get social credits. Social credits you can use to research um, new parts as well as expand your ship points. Increase your ship points so that you can make your ships bigger. The resources also do something else. If you have a factory part on one of your ships, you can actually use these resource points to build new little mini ships from your ship. I hope that makes sense. It'll start to make sense, hopefully even more so, when we begin to play. Uh, oh, it's so much fun, guys. So, that being said, what is the limitation of my ship? So right now I've got this little starter ship. And this little starter ship is this ship right here. This little starter ship is 240 ship points, right? Now let's say I want to go to this ship. Because it's within that 300, as long as it's within that 300, I can do anything that's within that 300. So I can have a completely different design down here. Now these are all pre-mades that came with the game. But if I want to say fly this ship, all I got to do is click on it and hit uh, enter, whatever, oh, sorry, uh, actually, how do I do that? Oh, right, go like that, right, there we go. And it will start assembling the ship as I requested. Because it use, it's within that 300. As long as it's within that 300, you can be any design you want and you can switch any time you want. Pretty awesome, eh? I don't know, I think it's pretty awesome. Okay, so. That being said as well, if I want to, let's go back to our original design. Okay, it's going to assemble the ship. Perfect. And let's add a part. Let's say I add, uh, let's add these mining lasers. Uh, we're not going to keep them um, just because it's not what we need right now, but that's okay. Um, I want to add these mining lasers. Well, how do I, how do they get added? Well, whoops, because um, it's within my 300 points. They just get added. It just takes time. Everything takes time. Now, if something gets off, shot off my ship, it reassembles over time. The goal here is to protect your core, your command module. This piece here, your command module, is everything. If your command module dies, you die. Right? It's not permadeath or anything in this game. You respawn at some of your at your friendlies, right? Um, uh, there's consequences to it. You lose everything in your cargo containers, which really, really, really sucks sometimes. And sometimes you're leading an entire fleet. And then they just kind of go off on their own, right? St silly stuff like that, right? But um, you don't want to lose your command module. Aside from losing your command module, as long as this piece is still around, everything else on your ship can be destroyed. But if this piece is still there, your entire ship will grow back. This game is so organic. Now, speaking of organic, let's talk about our surroundings. So I just took those two pieces off. Now they just slowly disappear. So let's talk about our surroundings. So what do we see around here? What is this plant stuff? So this plant stuff, there's a variety of different types of species of plant that grow within the game. And they grow on these, I, I guess they're kind of an asteroid kind of thing. I don't know what they are. But these plants will sit here and grow and grow and grow and grow. And once they reach a certain point, they will start producing resources, which are these little purple, I don't know if you guys can see them, these little purple dots. Now this one's just kind of stray, whatever, and you can collect them by just getting close to them. And there's devices you can get, oh, <laughs> there's devices you can get that, that assist in gathering them. Um, but even as a starter ship, you can still collect them so long as you have a container on your ship, which will hold and store resources. Make sense? You with me? I hope so. Okay, so um, these plants will grow resources. So generally, your colony or your faction, so notice all these guys flying around, they are part of my faction because they are part of my color. Well, where are they coming from? Well, they're coming from ships with factories on them like this one. So these guys are all running around collecting these resources from our area with these plants giving them to our factories and our factories are producing ships which in turn go out and try and find more resources so that they can come back and grow more ships so your faction is constantly growing there's an ebb and flow right now um, these plants you'll notice they are shooting off these little green things what are these little green things so these green things do multiple things 
Uh, first off, they're seeds. <laughs> yeah, they're seeds. So they... Oh, see, I just collected a resource. So they... Uh, once the plants are big enough, they shoot off these little seeds, and these seeds go and find new places to grow. So, for example, they found this little part of something, whatever it was, out in the middle here, and they started growing off of that. So there's this organically growing thing. I just love that. I love it! It just... That taking over of an area it reminds me of being a Zerg. I just love that. Um, uh, so the plants also are, of course, they can be broken and shot up and destroyed. Now the green ones are yours. Uh, y you like the green ones. The green ones are good because the green ones pretty much are, are safe around you. Now they do, they do, um, they can hurt you. When you run into them, they can hurt you, and I believe there's a defense mechanism uh, with them when you get too close. If you're a bad guy, that they will start shooting at you. Uh, I don't know if the green ones do so much, but some of the other species do, where they will actually launch almost like fighters and attack you. Um, but the green ones are pretty innocuous for yourself, and you want to have as many of those around as possible. Okay, sorry, I had to check my recording there. I wanted to be sure I was still recording. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, I'm just sitting in a little room talking to myself, and that's not good. <laughs> so, I hope you guys are with me so far. So, it's only going to get more interesting. Okay, now, all these guys floating around are working for us. Now, you'll notice on our little mini-map, we've got little green squares. So, those symbolize either factories, capital ships or uh, turrets, or things that are grown by your faction. Your faction has these, these larger objects that kind of secure areas, they grow ships, they protect areas, they do all sorts of stuff. So right now there's just a few of them kicking around here. You'll also notice on the mini-map there is a couple of blue ones. Well, the blues aren't us, they're not green. We like green, green is good. So we're gonna go out towards Look at them harvest all that. Isn't that great? So yeah, if we lost all this green, you'll notice like the best places to be is, is around where, uh, you know, lots of plant life is growing. Look at this. This is this is awesome. All these little guys are the, uh, the little seeds that are launching off of the plants. Isn't that amazing? And like I said, they offer a little bit of protection too. Okay, so now we are getting close to... <laughs> it's 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 hard to drive just so you know and I'm collecting these resources see those plants are producing the resources and we're collecting them That's awesome, and you can see that building up down here under the resources for up to 29 32 etc Okay, so now we are getting closer to one of these blue squares Which means it's it's something that we don't own that we could activate and make our own So this is this is a, this is a grand campaign map like we can conquer areas like completely conquer areas now generally this is where things get Scary, because they are protected by allied factions. I would zoom in, but it's it's hard to fight sometimes zoomed in. <laughs> uh, now, uh, of course, when you attack these guys, if you don't kill them entirely, they regrow just like you do. So you have to make sure that you kill their command module. And it's right now it's just left click to fire as time goes on you can get different more advanced weapons and fighters and stuff like that which require uh, middle mouse button and right mouse button but right now all I have is those uh, two plasma cannons and an auto cannon I believe now the goal here is to activate these devices and to do so I just need to get close enough to activate it uh, I might be a little laggy here because I've got a lot of stuff going in windows right now and in background I should maybe turn some of that stuff off but Let's get this activated. Bang! Now, this belongs to us, and it's going to start regenerating all of it, all of it, everything it uses. So in other words, it's got some turrets and stuff that normally come with this. It looks like it's a, uh, a station, like it's a full-size station. And it's going to start regenerating all that stuff, so it will able, be able to defend itself. And once it gets enough resources collected by the little minions running around here, of course, it will start generating its own minions again, and all of these little asteroids will start to get inhabited by our little green resources. Sorry, that's a little choppy. I'm, I'm going to restart it here, guys. Be right back. Okay, that's better. You know, it's funny. I run, I run three different browsers. I run Firefox, I run uh, Chrome, and I run uh, Internet Explorer. And you know what's funny is the only one that ever crashes or causes me any discomfort at all is Internet Explorer. Sorry Microsoft fanboys, but man, that stuff, it's, it's, 
It's brutal. Like, I don't know why it does that. But anyway, so we're back here. So I, we don't have a lot more time in this episode because I spent so much time nattering. But I hope I hope we've all learned something. I know I did. And, uh, oh, yikes. Yes, collision. Yes, you can hit things and hurt yourself. So all of these rocks will eventually see they're already starting to get that the plants actually grow. Like, I, I wish I could show that part to you. They actually land on these... Oh, there, there's one. There's one growing. Oh, I'm going to crash this one. We see they, they actually grow and then they... Yeah, it's pretty neat. I don't know. Pretty cool. Anyway, so where were we? Right. Let's get... Uh, now, we need to... Oh, we already sold... Yeah, we already sold some of our... Just by going near one of these uh, factories, we ended up selling whatever resources that we had in our hold. And the resources are automatically sold. Let's let's show that again. Uh, let's see if we can find some more resources here and then we'll just go sell it just to show you how that works again. There's one. Let's just get that one. Oh, maybe that isn't one. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this one. I, again, I'm just kind of showing you the game a little bit today. Uh, this is part of the Let's Play because we're going to be using this save from here on in and it's uh, it's going to get messy and it's going to get hairy and it's going to be a lot of fun and I cannot wait. I love this game. Um, uh, let's see. I just wanted a resource to show you guys. Oh, darn it. Okay, so let's kill a bad guy. That, that's a good way to get a resource. What do you think? Okay, uh, yeah. Combat with the starter ship. Uh, it's challenging because you got to keep a pretty close range and you're terribly outgunned. <laughs> yeah, the little tiny bad guy, he got me. So anything I would have had in my hold is now gone. I don't think I had anything out of, in my hold. Um, I kind of overestimated my ability there. I'm, I'm still not terribly good at it. Um, and that's why the, a game like this is actually pretty fun because you can build ships with the kinds of weapons that you would be good at having. In other words, I talked a lot in my boss constructor series about the Star Control 2 and the Spathy. Right? And how much I loved the Spathy in Star Control 2 because of the butt missiles. And I can I can build the Spathy here. I mean, piece by piece, I can put together exactly, exactly with the, what the Spathy looks like. So anyway, I'm going to go to the uh, the little, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, the station here, and I'm going to sell my goodies. I got 22. See, there it goes. 22, and it turned into 11 of the, uh, the uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, the social credit resources. And now, uh, we have 338 social credit resources. We could spend 150 and get increase this amount that we can actually put on our ship. Um, but we're not going to do that quite yet. We're going to save up. Uh, we really want the factory. The factory is where it's at because, get this, you can... <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm, I, I, I'm just so excited about this part. It just, it kills me. So... I can attach a factory to my ship, then I can build another ship with a factory and have it fly with me. It gathers its own resources and build, builds its own ship. And then if I want, I can even release those ships into the world and they just keep on building for our faction. You're, it's, it's this, I, I don't know if that really, I don't know if that affects anybody else like it affects me, but it's that 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 growth like taking over by 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 sheer numbers it's it's so organic it's like it's like it's like it's like a colony of bees or ants and it's even in the way it looks and it feels the ai and just the numbers of critters and bad guys and good guys you can have on the screen and all the things that are happening and then the rep reproduction and then the self Oh, I just, I love it. I love this game. Anyway, this is the first episode. Stay tuned because we are, after this, we are, we're going to get at it. We're going to start uh, having some real fun and shooting up some bad guys, improving our ship, both size and efficiency, and taking it in a direction that, uh, you know, is unique to us. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our first session of reassembly. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you really like uh, like what you see and you want to see more of the series, hey, hit the subscribe button. You'll get the feed right to your phone or your tablet or your computer. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later.